Hi, in this video I'll show you how to convert numbers to Roman numerals. And maybe later on at the end I'll show you how to convert them back to regular numbers. But stick around. I'm going to use a special function to get my numbers, my sequence of numbers. I have a row of 10 by 10. And this function is only available in Office 365, but I'll show you another way to do it later on. And the function is called sequence. And it basically gives you a sequence of numbers. I want 10 rows, and then I also want 10 columns, starting at the number 1 and going incrementing by 1. So basically counting from 1 to 100, because it's 10 by 10. Close parentheses, press return, and there I have my numbers here from 1 to 10. So with Roman numerals, it's easier. I see that I think it's easier to see it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you know that delineation of tens. So how do we get our Roman numbers? Type equal Roman. Actually, what I'm going to do is reference the whole area here. So I'll start at cell 13, go down to cell 22, and then go across over to column J. And that cell is activated, so all I need to do is type equals Roman, which is the function to get it. And then click on cell A1, press Control Enter, and it's going to execute this command for all the cells that I selected. And there I have my Roman numbers. Now, if you don't have Office 365, you want to get something similar like this. There's lots of ways to do it. I'm just going to create something simple here, kind of a helper column. And these are all going to increment by 10. Right? And then I'm just going to have it equal to this plus 1. And this is going to bring it down. I can just bring this down. Right? And I can bring it across now. Let's see. I just have to go 10, colum 10 columns. Uh, one more. Okay, and I have my 10. And I can just do the same thing here where I will type equal Roman and I can just reference that for now. And I can do the same thing, right? I'll just kind of scroll down. It's going to reference. Instead of doing control enter, I can do it this way and I'll get my Roman numbers. Now, if we wanted to go back the other way and let's say I had some Roman numbers and I want to convert it back, it's basically the Arabic command. So you type Arabic. Let's just choose something here. Uh, I'm going to just choose this cell. And it's going to give me a blank. But I'm going to reference this cell to something here. All right? So that gives me 99. If I reference that to something else here, it'll give me 27, which is that 27. One thing to be aware of the Roman function, it doesn't go over the value of 4,000. So if I type in Roman, and I type in 399.9, that works. But if I type in 4,000, let's delete that, 4123, you're going to get an error. It only goes up to the value of 3999. Also, another thing to think about is the Roman number function also has arguments. Let me scroll down here. And what I mean is, let's pretend that I have a number, I have number one here, right? Actually, 499 is a good example. That shows up in the Microsoft Help site. If I type in Roman, press tab, and that number, and just press enter, it's going to give me that value. But that second argument has different values, depending if you want the simplified form or the concise form. So there's actually four types. If I decide to choose that, I, I'll just type one, two, three, four, right? And bring this down. Type equals Roman, and that value, and the form, that value. Let's, let's make this static function f4. So when I copy it down, it doesn't change. But when I copy this down here, J28 is going to be J29, J J30, etc. Press return, and that's 499. And see how it changes? If I had zero here, it would change to the default. And the default is zero, right? So Depending on the options that you want, if you want the concise form or you want the different simplified forms, the Roman numerals will change. So that's how you change from numbers to Roman numerals. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.